And good evening once again from Cuba's second largest city, Santiago de Cuba, which is really the, uh, the ground zero of activity happening right now in the country as the caravan of ashes for Fidel Castro will soon make its way here sometime tomorrow for a mass rally that's going to take place at 7 o'clock. This main plaza here has been under construction for the last couple of days. We can show you now the stage right behind me. You can see there is a large television screen, two of them that will play documentaries of Fidel Castro dating back nearly 60 years. This is called the Cradle of the Revolution, Santiago de Cuba, best known for that label. And also you can see there some of the chairs are set up and also some barricades are set up as well. As they get ready for crowd control, they are expecting thousands of people to attend that rally, just like the one that took place in Havana just a couple of days ago. This country is still in a national state of mourning, but also this country is also cracking down on some of the dissidents and some of the folks who have been speaking out for a long time against the government. One of those people happens to be El Sexto, and we are told by a very close friend of his that he is now on a hunger strike. Our Leanne Motohone right now is, in fact, in our newsroom. She will have much more on this one. Leanne, I'll send it over to you. Calvin, thank you. Danilo Maldonado Machado is better known as El Sexto. That means the sixth and is a play on the Cuban Five. Today, he completed his sixth day behind bars in what many are calling a crackdown on Cuban dissidents. If anyone can handle this, it's Danilo, but we just want to make sure that we get him out there before it escalates. Journalist Alexandra Martinez worries about her fiancé, Danilo Maldonado Machado, a Cuban artist and activist better known as El Sexto. He was arrested the morning after Castro's death, hours after spray painting He's Gone on a wall and creating this video. On the day that murderer has died, we need people to recover their consciences and take to the streets to fight for liberty. As an outspoken dissident, he became international news when he was arrested in Havana two years ago. The reason? Controversial art that included the names of Fidel and Raul Castro painted on live pigs. El Sexto spent 10 months in jail without trial or formal charges, all the while making works of art behind bars. Without explanation, they took me to jail, and I did not see the sun again until 10 months later. But now El Sexto is back in jail, once again without formal charges. Martinez was on the phone with him, she says, as armed security officers stormed into his home. Pulling him out, dragging him out. They dragged him down the stairs. They beat him. Just an example of what the Cuban American National Foundation is calling increased oppression in the wake of Castro's death. Earlier this week, another dissident, Eduardo Pacheco Ortiz, was also beaten and jailed. His daughter tells us his nose is badly broken and in need of surgery. The rest of the world needs to know there's still repression and there's still suffering going on in that country. So Calvin, his fiance tells us that she spoke with his mother. They've been in close contact. She is the one that said to us about that hunger strike. As for Pacheco, he himself is scared, says he does not want to undergo that surgery for his broken face and broken nose because he's afraid of what might happen to him when he's under the knife. We're going to stay on top of these stories for you, Calvin, and continue to bring you the very latest. I'll send it back to you. The long and continuous struggle for human rights in Cuba. Our Leanne Motorhome from our newsroom there in South Florida. Thanks a lot, Leanne. Once again, the epicenter of activity happening in the main plaza right behind me for the mass rally that is going to take place at 7 o'clock. It's a story we'll continue to follow. Glenn Milberg and I will have much more and even some new information coming up at 11 o'clock tonight. And we're here throughout the weekend for the funeral that will take place on Sunday. But for now, we'll send it to break.